a look at this, right? Kellogg staff wanted better pay, but the company did this. Cereal. Pop. Tarts. What do these things have in common? They hate you and they hate workers. Now, I'm pretty sad about this, all right? Because I personally like Rice Krispies, but apparently they also hate workers. They hate... Do you like alternatives in supermarkets not exist? Because like in the, the UK, like there's like vegan versions or cheaper versions of like the brands and then they'll call themselves the same kind of name, but it'd just be slightly different. It's like a knockoff, you know? We're talking about Kellogg. Now, the company Kellogg, and they have their hands in a lot of different products that you may not even know of. Can I get a little, uh, can I get a little oh list? Let me see. Oh my god! Now you can gain access to the live streams after the fact, because I don't keep them public. You know, thank you so much. I appreciate that. And you get access to exclusive content. Salad behavior. Can I pull up this list real quick? I think the amazing Merrick posted it. Yes, they did. Uh, Special K, House Town, Pop Tarts, gone. Cheese, it's gone. Frosted Flakes, Rice Krispies. Look at that. Apple Jacks, Fruit Loops, Normal Frosties. Oh my gosh. Tacos. Oh <laughs> and I don't know if anybody cares about the rest of this shit. Sandies. Oh my gosh. Raisin Bran. Oh my gosh. So all of oh these are now cringe. Why? Why, you ask? Well, here's the big reason. Kellogg workers have been on strike. Now, if you remember, probably you may have heard passively or actively through some of the people that you may listen to or just things that you've heard. There is there was a big strike going on at Kellogg, a lot of their factories, a lot of their plants where, where they make it a cereal because there's a two tier compensation issue going on in Kellogg. And so a lot of workers joined in and basically Kellogg was one of the first companies, the Kellogg workers were one of the first companies to kick off Striketober. Where a lot of other companies' workers decided to go on strike. Yeah, would you? Uh, we are responding to Shark. Are you familiar with him? Because I'm just the only reason I'm looking at this video is because obviously, like the left collectively, don't seem to believe that boycott works and that it's not really effective and they don't really bother with it. But then when it comes to like veganism, oh, boycott does not work. So I'm just looking at this quite interested, you know? D like absolutely. But do you know like um much about like? other stuff that shark said because if you do do you want to come on and talk about it do good things they make money that's it and if they happen to do good things along the way that's cool but a lot of the times they absolutely don't listen about 1400 striking workers at four kroger cereal plants in the united states have rejected a tentative agreement on a five-year contract negotiated by their union to the company on tuesday the bakery confectionery tobacco works and grain millers international union massive union giga union right here look oh this is huge we love big unions here don't we boys which represents the workers did not reveal the votes but said in a statement that its members had overwhelmingly voted against the agreement. The vote was the latest in several recently in which workers expressed dissatisfaction with the terms negotiated by their unions. Uh, also, Deer, Deer did uh, basically the same thing. The Kellogg rejection is similar to what we saw with, with Deer because they, they also got negotiated a bad deal by their union and they said no. The Kellogg strike began on October 5th. Uh, and has largely revolved around the company's two-tier compensation structure, agreed to in 2015, in which newer employees earn lower wages and receive less generous benefits than veteran workers. Under the previous contract, the lower tier could include up to 30% of the workers. According to a summary provided by the company, the new agreement would have immediately moved all workers with four or more years at Kellogg into the veteran tier. A group equivalent to 3% of the plant's headcount will move into the veteran tier each year of the contract. We are disappointed that they don't want the agreement, Kellogg said. So... This is something a lot, a lot of companies are doing, and we saw it really big when it comes to a lot of startups, especially the ones in California, the ones like Bird or Uber and Lyft and those types of places, Postmark, whatever. There, there's another one where like some delivery bullshit app where basically what they want is to have all of the benefits of having a workforce without any of the drawbacks, which is paying them. Yeah, Postmates. You know, like paying them, giving benefits, protecting them from damages, you know, all of that loser, all of that loser cringe stuff 
that real companies have to deal with. And so one really big thing is that they're now pushing to not only have less employees and almost no employees, a big workforce. They want to give them. This is like, look, a comment like this is something that it makes me think, right? <laughs> Giving up cheese, it's is tough, but it's a sacrifice I will make. Why? Because of everything that's happening with Kellogg's. Because, uh, you know, they're not being fair to their workers. Why can't you give up Cheez-Its? Because they have dairy in them. They are, a, you know, they are a dairy product. Because what had to happen to those animals? Is that not enough <laughs> for you to give them up? You know what I mean? Because I get it. This could be like a meme. But they probably feel like they shouldn't purchase from this specific company of what they they do what they engage in why is it not enough in the the case of animal agriculture you know maybe john F but <laughs> maybe john F but <clears throat> does not know that you know in order for us to have that milk when we look at these animals especially in factory farms they are you know being artificially inseminated so forcibly impregnated they then have babies who are very swiftly taken away from them. You know, they have babies stolen from them. And they are exploited and killed. Confined all their lives. And yeah, eventually they will have their life cut short. Usually when they're spent. Why is that not enough? John Fuckabut. Why is that not enough for you to give up cheese cheeses? Huh? For... Any of the people who've spent their lives donating hours of their lives, years of their lives to this company to make sure that it stays afloat, to feed their family, to make more money for the execs at top. But they don't care about that. They never have. They never will. They want to fire all of these workers, all 1,400 of them, and replace them with, once again, those low tier workers. They'll all be. This is what's important then for anybody who agrees with this boycott, right? If they, because it could be people who are probably boycotting Kellogg's who aren't vegan. Right, because Kellogg's don't think any of their products are vegan anyway because of the vitamin D that they use. It's got lanolin in it, um, which is derived from the oil of sheep. Um, and yeah, it's like if you believe this, if you think that oh yeah, we we should boycott this company because they don't care about workers. Well, shock horror! Animal agriculture does not care about uh, these workers, and it, it does not care about sentient beings full stop you know human beings as well you know we, we talked about this in the, the previous video that we we're looking at by Austinox about how you know workers are exploited in the animal agriculture industry because shock horror um an industry that profits off sentient life uh commodifying it exploiting it and killing them of course it's not gonna be really surprising if they turn around and you know exploit humans as well and as well as that, they don't give a shit about the other animals. Trillions of animals. I, I consume a fair bit of leftist content on the internet, mm. and it's aggravating to witness <laughs> because it's just, I sit here and these, it's like, they'll just, they'll sit here and like hop on their soapbox and preach about how terrible people are for the, for the awful things they do to human beings, even if it's just something that's like they they are they are not, they are such an awful person because they have these bad opinions or because they have these cringe takes or they say really really fucked up things, and then the second you're like, well, what about this fucked up thing you do that causes death? And it and the answer is I the answer is either I don't care. Uh, shut up uh, because no ethical consumption under capitalism or yeah vegans are right but me i don't give a f it's like oh cool i see the whole i see you're consistent on that anti-oppression stance cool i know yeah they get so like and i i get this like you know hurting people's feelings uh when you could avoid doing so is questionable you know prefer to avoid it in most instances um, so I get why, you know, the, the, they talk about the things that they talk about and it's just like, oh, that's, that's screwed up, you know, but then when we're looking at, yeah, what we do to other sentient beings where we literally confine them, mutilate them, you know, we'll, we'll do things like 
rip out their tails, their testicles, their teeth without anaesthetic. We'll take their babies from them. We'll kill them at a fraction of their lifespan. Like, we'll pump them with, like, antibodies. You know, we, we'll um, have them on nutrient-deficient diets so they, they're, they're ill. You know, we'll, we'll genetically modify them so that they can't even carry their own weight. And, yeah, we'll kill them. It's like, these things are immeasurably worse than, like, hurting someone's feelings. So, but then they're like, oh, well, other animals, they don't matter. Like, humans are of a higher value. It's like, well, even if this is the case, I still think that literally killing, like, another sentient being is still worse than hurting some fifis. Yeah, I... Yeah, I have I have my beef with with quote unquote leftists on the internet for for their hypocrisy on the issue of animal rights. Uh, I also have beef with Shark because he doesn't like beans and uh, he should be canceled for it. So. <laughs> he doesn't like beans. He doesn't like beans. Oh my god! Has he talked about veganism at all or anything like that? Not not to my knowledge. I feel like not some him, people him, like him. avoid it because it's like a very like. It's think, something that think, follows from their their view. The thing is, I've I watched I watched a good bit of his content a few months ago, and he's not he's doesn't seem to be the most robust individual. Like I, for the most part, it seems like his takes are uh, he will read he will read something or talk or watch something and be like, damn, aren't these takes cringe? Isn't this isn't this bad? And then he'll meme. He he's not yeah, he's one more who of really... a more of a memer, yeah. But I, I saw him because he actually participated participated in a panel. I can't remember which one it was, but it was like his first one. Like he's quite new to the whole scene, so he is he does meme over actually providing like sound rhetoric and stuff like that. So yeah, I agree. Yeah, he, he's not exactly he's not exactly one I would come to for any for really <laughs> any real positions it's just you show up to a stream or you watch his vod and it'll just be kind of be him just shit posting and just not really saying much do you reckon he'd debate the premise of you won't be vegan i don't necessarily know if he i don't necessarily know if the if anybody's ever brought the topic up to him because he's hmm. he's one he's small two he was he's a shit poster i'd <laughs> I mean, I'm also a shit poster though. Like we could like part shit post and then like get back to the you know the the real topic. Um, mm. I'm tempted to contact him. I might see uh, if I can. I, I would probably start with just introducing the topic to him and seeing how he responds. Yeah, from true. There. I mean, I, you know, this can be a bit, this can be a segment on him. So. Like I like something that something that, something that's like stuck that sticks in my mind with these leftists. There's a there's one called Actual Jake. He's oh my god, he's so annoying. He, Has he said anything about veganism? He's the one I'll, I'll watch from. I'll watch when I need background noise. <laughs> and what I find what I find interesting is he will drone on and on and on about how about just how dog shit certain people are, because again, because they'll say this because I have bad takes because they'll say sh they'll say shit things about people or have bad opinions about people. But then I remember one time he goes, yeah, he, he, the only time I ever heard him bring up veganism is he said something along the lines of, yeah, is that up? Yeah, but I just don't care. And I just sat there being baffled because I, I'm just like, you get so up in arms when people are, when people are oppressed, when, when people are oppressed by, by words. But when something, but when, a, when an individual, when an individual is so is so disregarded that their lives are taken away, like they don't mean anything, it's just eh, I don't give a shit. Interesting. Yeah, because I was watching actual Jake's kind of debate with Destiny about like toxic community and stuff, and it seems with like Jake, he's very much like he'll just he's not actually like believing what he's saying anyway like and i think he'll only like he only thinks oh that's so screwed up that's so messed up if it's popular to believe that it's so messed up and oh my god aren't people horrible aren't people awful but he'll literally be that awful person like, i have a, i have a hard time believing what this left this uh content creators because a lot of the times they, they're just a lot of the times they'll just kind of sit there and be like damn ain't this screwed up 
ain't this stinky and then like there and then a lot of the times they'll be like then somebody will come up then, then I've, I've seen this happen in a lot of lectures that's something like hey dipshit read some theory which I, have i read a theory no should i probably but then but usually the response is you i don't need to read any theory you stinky dipshit but oh yeah we definitely need this socialism thing to get around but it's like bro but kind of that's kind of the point if you want to spread the rhetoric of an idea you kind of need to know what the f you're talking about don't you Apparently not. Apparently, you just attack the system. You just, um, it, yeah, it's all the government that you have to target, according to like geniuses like Carter. This is the thing, right? The, the non vegan leftists will like accuse vegans of like virtue signaling and stuff like that and trying to be like morally superior and get like. Irony. But the, the, the thing is, like, if I really wanted to get all this affirmation, I would just turn around and like be Make a leftist, a, a leftist content. content creator. <laughs> yes. Oh! Oh my god, Travis tipped. Ain't it cringe to not be vegan? <laughs> did you hear that? Did it come through his desktop audio? It did. Hell yeah. It is so cringe to not be vegan. That's very true. Alright, <laughs> thank- Alright, and Trevor, thank you for giving the stream just the tip. Let's go. Yeah, just the tip for the- <laughs>